Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest video weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with the National Weather Service. We're going to talk about Santa Ana winds, in fact a prolonged period of winds and very dry conditions. December 1st, 2020. Here are some of the highlights. Let's take some time to look over them. The bottom line is Santa Ana winds have not left us, nor is the dry air, and we expect stronger Santa Ana winds to move in for Thursday and continue into Friday. In fact, at least weak, if not occasionally moderate Santa Ana winds this weekend all the way through next week. This will have some impact, especially on our fire weather conditions and some cold temperatures over our mountain valleys during the overnight hours. We're not expecting any precipitation through mid-December. We did have a moderate Santa Ana wind event over Thanksgiving weekend. If you weren't around, well, these were the wind gusts that were recorded. The strongest winds were in the wind prone areas such as Santa Ana Mountains where we had gusts 79 at Fremont Canyon. Most locations, however, had gusts in the 40s and 50s for the wind prone areas of San Diego County, Riverside County, as well as the Cajon Pass. What are we expecting with this upcoming wind event? Well, stronger winds. Here are some of the peak wind gusts that we are expecting from Wednesday evening when the winds start to pick up all the way through Saturday morning. Some of our wind prone areas will be over 65 miles per hour. A lot of areas will see wind gusts over 45 miles per hour as shown here. The core of that wind is expected Wednesday night, say late evening starting in our northern areas such as the Cajon Pass and then early Thursday morning for San Diego Mountains as shown here. So the peak of our wind is expected again Wednesday night through Thursday as shown here. Some of that wind will make it all the way to the coast, though it will be not nearly as strong where coastal areas and over water areas will only see wind gusts of 15 to 25 miles per hour. We do expect the wind to dissipate but continue across our region even on Friday and into Saturday night as shown here. It'll be less wind and mostly confined to the canyons and mountain passes, but nonetheless, those offshore Santa Ana winds will continue into the weekend. Here's a look at how dry it is expected to get. On Thursday, minimum humidity is getting into the low teens. Remember, it already is dry and it's only gonna get drier with that air blowing across the Mojave Desert. The winds, will continue and bring drier air even still on Friday. This is when we expect our lowest humidity values dropping below 10% on Friday. Extremely critically dry conditions. We do also expect cold temperatures, and we're gonna start seeing some of those cold temperatures develop as early as Friday morning in our wind protected areas. So that's the area sheltered by the stronger sand and winds, such as our high deserts and mountain valleys. Those temperatures probably only getting colder as we go into this coming weekend, spreading across the valleys of Riverside and San Diego County. Now next week, more Santa Ana wind is expected, at least weak, if not moderate Santa Ana winds. We think they're going to redevelop early next week and peak out middle of next week. Here are some of the details. Take a look at your location. And these are Santa Ana winds coming from the northeast to easterly direction as shown here. The wind prone areas are shown on here. The particular areas of concern will be the 215 corridor, the Highway 91 corridor, and then also the 78 corridor down in San Diego County all the way down to the I-8 corridor. Why are we concerned about fire weather conditions? Well, fuel moisture despite rain in early November is rapidly drying. So this means our fuels, our vegetation, if there is a fire start, is now becoming very susceptible to extreme fire growth. Why? Well, we haven't seen much precipitation other than early November storm, which primarily had a big impact over San Diego County. That storm alone is not going to do it. If you look at this map here, the percent of normal precipitation now from October 1, the start of the water year through November, is critically low. 
It's basically less than 25% across Orange County, Riverside, and San Bernardino County. What is the weather pattern going on? Well, right now we have the weather pattern basically blocking upper level ridge of high pressure. And we already have weak Santa Ana winds already set up that haven't gone away really since Thanksgiving. That high pressure cell that's coming down from Canada will be the culprit for the winds on Thursday and Friday. This is what the weather pattern will do. We'll call it recharging weather pattern. A large closed low system or storm system will be on the dry side of that storm that sets up over the desert southwest. That'll keep the prolonged Santa Ana winds and that wind blowing offshore on Wednesday and Thursday. Meanwhile, that upper level high pressure pushes into the Pacific Northwest, ensuring very dry conditions up in that area, keeping the jet stream well to the north. Now, what do we have in store for Thursday? That's when that surface high pressure will settle over Utah and produce the strongest wind gradient, northeast winds coming down across Southern California as shown here. So we expect the windiest conditions on Thursday and into Friday. Now, what happens over the weekend? Well, that same storm track just remains pushed to the north, upper level high pressure anchored over Oregon and Northern California. And we see a weak upper level feature that lingers across the northern Baja and the desert southwest. That ensures, following that red line, that offshore flow to continue even this weekend. Now, what about next week? Do we see a change? Well, not really. We see a new weather system dropping down from Canada. So more cold air coming down from the north. And that'll reinforce and redevelop the Santa Ana wind conditions into the middle of next week. How about in the longer term, for mid to late December? Not much hope for precipitation. We do see a slight opening for precipitation moving across the west. That looks to be in the middle of December, as shown here. But it doesn't look like a big change in the weather pattern. Overall, dry and mild conditions across California. The official outlook is shown here. This is the period from mid to late December. And you can see here, storm track remaining to our north. That'll bring some cold air for Santa Ana winds over the Great Basin, but we'll be on the wrong side of the jet stream, wrong side of the storm track. We'll be on the dry side here for the most part in Southern California. We are looking at some unprecedented conditions. Over the past year, 2020, we see the warmest temperatures on record for places like Escondido, Anza Borrego State Park, including the Palm Springs area, and then also our mountain conditions such as Big Bear Lake, so far running the warmest for 2020. If we want to look back as to where our conditions are now compared to where they were a couple years ago, we can see that the fire weather conditions are critical now, and we now have comparable conditions in terms of what they were in 2017. Remember, that was a very dry year and a dry fall. And what they are now, as shown earlier, we can see back then they were right around the red or the record low values or record high energy release potential in the fuel. Here are the highlights. Prolonged Santa Ana wind is the bottom line. The peak winds are expected on Thursday. Now, we're already in peak Santa Ana season, we're already dry air in place, so it's just going to get drier. More critical fire conditions as we roll through the week. And they don't go away over the weekend as we remain in that offshore flow, and the weather pattern possibly repeats next week as we get more Santa Ana winds in the second week of December into mid-December. The other conditions that are going on are cold mountain temperatures because of the dry air. So our mountain valleys will be very cold, especially this upcoming weekend, as that dry air is in place over our region. So no marine air, just a prolonged period of Santa Ana wind conditions and critical fire conditions at times, and throughout the whole period, elevated fire weather conditions. Make sure you check out the latest conditions on our webpage and you can monitor the temperatures and the winds, of course, on our interface right off of the weather.gov webpage. Stay safe, everyone.